Oh my gosh, y'all. I just had the most fun at Five Below. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I have a very, very fun Five Below haul for you. Fun Five Below haul? Yeah, I went looking for one thing and ended up finding lots of things and when it was time to leave, I told the cashier that was the most fun that I had had in the store in a long time. Five Below has really got it going on. So, let's take a peek at what I got. First, the thing I was going for, a 10 pound kettlebell. So now I can do my kettlebell full body workout and use 10 pounds and work my way up hmm, to that 15 pound one. Very excited about that. Then, we're gonna start with this bag. I think it only has one thing in it. I saw this. Let's see how much I spent in five below. $54.43. And it was the best time of my life. Um, I went into Bells. Um, I have a Bells near me. I could actually walk to it. I could actually walk to a lot of these stores. <laughs> I live in the middle of shopping Mecca, and it's dangerous, but I love every minute of it. Anyway, I saw these at Bells, and they were selling them for $10. And I said, no, I don't, I don't need it. I'd really like to have it, but uh, I don't need it. Then I saw it at one Five Below. Five Below is a lot like Dollar Store in that sometimes you have to go to different ones to find different things. And the one that I hit last night, the absolute best that I've been to, has the most items. You can tell they aren't getting like all the viral items taken because they had a bunch of the viral items still on the shelf and so I was like all right this is my secret secret little spot and I could tell anybody where it is and it's gonna be just for me so when I need to find something I can just come right out here and find it <laughs> so um all of that to say that I saw the same item at five below for less it was five dollars like maybe five fifty five let's see how much this item was it was five dollars exactly and at that first store i put it in my cart put it back put it in my cart put it back and then i just said let me think about it and the other day at work you know somebody came in and they want to request things and so i just pick a sticky note or something and write it and stick it somewhere and i'm like I could have a notepad, but I don't. Why don't I? I don't know. But then I saw this and I thought, I don't need a notepad. I don't need sticky pads. I just need this in my life, okay? And it's completely normal and everything is fine. It is a desktop dry erase organizer. Organizer? Oh, yes. We're going to look at the product together. Once I figure out how to open it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have the dry erase surface here. You set it on your desk and bloop. It comes with the pen. It comes with three little places that I can put my sticky notes in and close it up. And it is... It, it, you, yeah, doesn't get any better than that. Got real excited. You know, I just said, when I do these things, like really want something and don't get it, 
then I start panicking that they're all going to be sold out. And so I even stood and looked at this one and said, Do, would I really use this? And, you know, the answer just ended up being, I'm going to have to because I need this in my life because it's precious. And so, you know, a professor comes in, can I get 10 copies of the torts test? I can just write it down right there, and then when I've done it, erase it. Fabulous. Love it. Going to work. Go when to work. Going to go on my desk. Love it. Now... That, that's where it all started. <laughs> ah! Got some more goodies. So, you know, I've been on this Timu kick, and they bombard you every day, multiple times a day, with messages and emails saying, you got a prize, you got $100 off, you got this, you got that. And I, I have to turn it off, because you can't, you can't, you're going to make me not want to buy anything from you if you counts on me like that. We're not doing that. I'm buying what I want when I want at the price I want to pay. So, anyway, a couple of these items I've been looking at on Timu. They're probably cheaper there, but I just can't, I can't deal with, you know, getting 52 emails and more discounts and all. It, I have to take a break from Timu. So, one of the things I've been looking for are plastic straws that I can use in my tumblers. I don't think I have one up here, but my water tumblers. Because I some of them don't have straws, and I need a straw. So, for $3.25, I got two for six straws and a straw cleaner. Best price, probably not, but they were cute and I liked them and I wanted them. Now, you know how I said I like to write on toasted, toasted, post-it notes. Well, I saw this and I thought, you know, what's a post-it note when you can have a toasted note? <laughs> yes, yes, I will take that. Do you see the two, two little things of toast? In each side of the toaster and their post-it notes I don't know if they I don't know if they're sticky let me see includes a toaster and toaster notes sticky notes 100 notes each oh turn it that way you can see it two toasted notes sticky note pads 100 notes each perfect I mean, it just doesn't get any cuter than that, okay? That's adorable. And on the side, you got the little slider. I mean, it's... Oh, it is sticking out. Oh, I wonder if you could take them down or not. Probably not, but it's adorable. It's going on my desk, and I love it. The Toast-It Notes. That I had to have. We're five dollars. <sighs> then there's little bins of little things, and they're all overpriced. But there was one thing that I said, you know what? I know it's overpriced, but it's so darn cute. For three dollars and twenty-five cents, I'm going to take it out of the packaging. To make it easier for you to see what the actual item is. It's precious. And does he have a piece of toast as well? I don't know. But he's a little duck. And he is correction tape. And I believe that's a piece of toast, is it not? 
and he is squishy and adorable and I needed it. Okay? Okay. Going to work. He was three dollars and twenty five cents. Did I say that? Overpriced but precious. Um need no get them on Timu cheaper probably um I paid three dollars and 25 cents for these as well maybe I'll give one to each of the girls who knows what I will do but they are straw tie toppers and they look like our tumblers adorable so yes yes i will i will have that to go with my new straws um i got this for my niece i did not get any from me and it's fine but i had to get it for somebody and so i'm gonna give it to her ramen noodle instant sticky notes Precious. Could not be any more precious. The ramen notes, I'm sure, were overpriced. Let's see. One dollar. I'm going to go back and get more. Because I can get some for the girls at work. Um, I decided to get this because it, I just saw the words lose weight, supercharge your energy, and transform your health from morning to midnight, the circadian code. This is what my niece keeps talking to me about, that I need to find my circadian rhythm so that I can know what hours I am most productive, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't even know what it means, but... We'll read it. You know, I, I can tell you right now that I'm a night owl. If I had to work 12 to 12 midnight to 7, 8 in the morning, I'm good. It's fine. If I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and work out and go to work from 8 to 5, not fine. Dying. Okay. Alrighty then. So that's my circadian rhythm. Alrighty then, but we're going to read the book. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, I got these, and I'm going to try them now with you, because I saw one of my new favorite YouTubers, um, Heather Otis, uh, try these. She has gotten some of these off of Amazon, and some of these, I think she said, at the dollar store. I haven't seen them in any of my dollar stores, but I did see them in my five below for a dollar fifty so I said well it's a quarter more <laughs> so and this is a flavor that I would like better than any of the others they did have a it might have been a watermelon or a strawberry but I was like I don't even know if I'm gonna like these let me get you know what I would think would be my favorite flavor which would be banana and these are called peelers and you're supposed to peel away the outside and eat the inside so i guess the inside is going to be white and the outside is yellow so i want to try these they have this real easy tear thing unless you have Oh, they're not individually wrapped, but they look like a banana. So, let's just figure out how to peel it. Okay. Precious little banana inside. Precious. 
precious little banana. And you can eat both parts. Okay. Tastes like banana. Like a soft gummy. I'm not crazy about the texture, but I'm used to harder gummies. And this is like in the middle between a gummy bear and too soft. So, that wasn't bad. You can peel them. I'm sure you can eat them just like this. But, I wanted to try them. They are pretty good. They are 90 per serving, which is 5 pieces. 90 calories. No fat. 10 milligrams of sodium. 22 carbs because of the sugars, which are 16 grams. And... One gram of protein. Best by 11-23-2025. Okay. That's a pretty good. Then, I don't know if many of you know about this candy bar. This is the best candy bar in the whole wide world. If you open it and you let it get stale and chewy, you'll knock your socks off. It is a Zagnut. And anytime I find these in a store, I pick them up. Because you find them in the most random places. They aren't available in all the convenience stores. And I love these. 200 calories per bar. 9 grams of fat. 3 grams of saturated fat. No trans. No cholesterol, 110 sodium, total carbs 29 grams, fiber 1 gram, sugars 20, added sugars 38. I don't know if that includes that. Oh, 9. Mm. Included sugars is, yeah, we don't know. Lots of sugar in there. Protein 3 grams, vitamin D 0, vitamin C 0, iron 2%. Potassium, 4%. So, yes, I will open this up and let it sit out for a few days and get real good and chewy. It's just crunchy peanut butter toasted coconut. And uh, it's like that peanut buttery filling with a, a slight hard shell around it. And then um, toasted coconut. Like, if you have never had a Zagnut, I suggest. You look for them each time you go into a 7-Eleven, a sheets so of whatever you have out there. Look for them and try one if you like coconut and peanut butter. All right, I got these for my niece for Christmas because the stupid, <coughs> very stupid Lifesavers does not do the books of Lifesavers like they used to do. They do all one flavor, which is like the mixed flavors in every roll. They used to do like red, orange, yellow, green, purple, you know, whatever. They do different flavors. And this was always our favorite flavor out of the book, which is the butter rum. So I picked up two of those for her. Let me tell you, the Circadian Rhythm book was $5. The Life Savers... The gummy bananas were $1.50. The Lifesavers were $1.50 each. The Zag Nuts were $1.50 each. Um, then my great, great niece, which is my niece's daughter's daughter. Um... A couple of years ago, you know, when she was a baby, I used to chase her and get her a cute little baby soft, sweet, precious milk chocolate butt. 
I, I have a thing for butts. It's a problem. We're going to act like it's normal. Um, and especially baby butts. They're like that big and they're so soft and you just, oh, you got to grab it. Empty way. So I had given her this game because she won't let me get her butt anymore. Because, you know, she's like six or something. She's grand. Too grand for me to get her butt. Um, so I gave her the butt game. And it was kind of like one of those popper games where the dice goes, but the popper dome was a butt. And so now every time, you know, I'm like, I've got something for you. She's like, does it have a butt on it? And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And she told her mom one time, she always gets me things with butts on them, which I really don't. But that tells me she thinks it's funny, but she's trying to pretend like it's not. So we got butts on things. These are stickers. And they are butt stickers. Okay, there are butts on tacos. There are butts on some bubble gum machines. There are butts on disco balls. Let's see that. What else we got? We have butts on a computer. Butts on the coffee. Butts on the donut. Butts on the pizza. Butts on the ball. Butts on the snowman. Okay, just have a look. You see there. I mean, precious. Saturn even has a butt. So cute. So, yes, it's 120 stickers. And everything in here, they're probably all the same. But that's fine. Everything in here has butts on it. And she can just have fun sticking them wherever she wants. That is the precious thing. The most precious thing. All right, then the last thing I got, I got two of these. One for my wrists and one for my ankles. Is it gonna fit around my ankle? I don't know. If it doesn't, the second one will go back. The butts and things, sorry, I keep forgetting to give you that. The butts on things was $2.50 and the wrist weights were $5 each. So, that's my 54 53 total with tax. All right, let's check these out. These are wrist weights, and they have thumb holes, but I don't know. Maybe I can fit them around my little ankles. Maybe I could just open it with my cutter that I don't know where it is because I have too many pins in here and these are all those new pins that I bought. All the highlighters, all the gel pins. I've got all of these pins. These are mainly my alcohol markers that I use to make cards. They also have my um, permanent markers that I use to do my budgeting with when I write on the dry erase type of stuff. And then down there, I have another box of three drawers of pens. <clears throat> One of them is just dollar store fabulous pens that I pick up every time school rolls around, but I think I have every color now. I've been looking at them, and I don't think I need any more because they're just sitting there waiting to be used. And then the top drawers is filled with like uh, cir uh, circuit, cricket pens. Because the Cricut can cut and write. Alright. Let's see here what we have. Alright. So they are one pound each. So this one is one pound. And... They're like 10 inches long, so I guess you, I'm trying to think here, you put it on, and then that folds around to the front. And you got a pound of extra weight to use when I go for my walks. I bought some for my ankles. Let's see if they'll fit. 
I've got pretty small ankles, so I think we'll be all right. Yep. Just barely got it in there. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me show you. There we go. Uh, my desk is a wreck. I don't know what you saw, but everything's a wreck. It's got all the stuff I just hauled. So anyway, yeah, uh, we got that. Okay. Sorry about my feet. If you're not a foot person. If you are, send me five dollars for another shot. Ah! Do you know that there are actually websites where people post pictures of their feet and get paid for it? I saw this girl in school, in my school, taking a picture of her foot and I wondered if she was getting herself through law school with pictures of her foot. I mean, you know, you gotta do what you got to do to make your dreams come true. So, we'll keep those. I got two of those for $5 each and that was it. It took me probably two hours to go through the store. The store was much larger than the one that is close to me. It was much better than the one that is close to me. It had a lot more variety. And there's still something from that store that I'm looking for. So I'm going to continue to check all of the dollar, dollar, mm -mm, five below stores around me and wait for it to either come back in stock in my store or come back in stock in the other store and when I get it we're gonna have a lot of fun alright guys I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up also if you saw something that you would like to pick up from five below or you know of something that you think that I would enjoy let me know in the comments below and until the next one I'll see you then bye